Welcome to day one of the five minute mandala art challenge. This might be helpful for stress relief, to move through creative blocks, to spark some new life in your creativity, or to also connect with others in community. If you are just now finding us, please click here to watch the introductory video. It has all of the details as well as a free downloadable workbook. You can find that in the description box here. It also includes the prompts for this challenge, recommended art supplies, and some contest details. So two people will be winning one of my courses, either the Mindful Mandalas online course or my 35 minute mindful art experiments course. Details again are in the workbook. Today is day one of our five minute mandala art challenge and our prompt is speckle. So the creative limitations of this mandala art challenge, such as doing it for five days, creating for just five minutes, using really simple art materials, having a prompt, all of these help us narrow in and help us to not have as many choices to make, as many thoughts that are coming in. The other thing that happens is that the mind has an easier grasp of thinking that, oh, I'm only creating for five minutes, so I can't make a masterpiece in five minutes. So again, it removes that pressure. It also can help introduce experimentation because we're trying a new prompt. We might be trying new materials. We only have those couple of minutes and since it's not so precious, we might feel a little more daring or courageous and step outside of our comfort zone. It's time for the best part. Let's start creating together with our day one prompt speckle for the mandala art challenge. The materials again are in the workbook and partially linked below. You can work with loose paper or in a journal. You're welcome to experiment with micron pens or water brush and watercolors as I am here or use something else. I like to trace the circles using a coaster. You can also use a cup or a bowl or a compass. You can also freehand write it as well. And I like to signify the start by just ringing a bell. You might have some sort of practice for you that resonates. And I also leave space at the bottom of the page for some of my writing. I'm just wetting the paper here for wet on wet technique. And when you're ready, we will begin with our five minute practice. So I will begin our five minute timer here in the bottom corner. And I'll occasionally be sharing more information throughout this video, similar to if we were sitting at an art table creating together. For the most part, I'll leave a lot of space for your own creative process and practice. Again, the prompt is speckle. So just noticing what comes up for you when you think of speckle and allowing that first impulse to just begin making marks or choosing colors that resonate with you. And keeping in mind again that there's no right or wrong way and we're just stretching our creativity muscles so we don't need to present this anywhere it's really giving ourselves permission to just be present and see what wants to be created in this moment
What's really lovely about working with mandalas and in a circular shape is that you can really rotate the page and look at the marks that you've made. And for my writing process around deepening the marks I've made, it's really nice to be able to rotate it and see different things and notice different insights that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. So I definitely encourage you to rotate the page as you're creating. If you didn't do that today on day one, you can try that for some of the other days as well. So as I mentioned, sometimes the five minutes is just a spark to have us create longer. If you're in a good flow, you definitely don't have to stop at that five minute mark, but it is a nice way to build your creative muscle and to make something even when sometimes we're too busy or too stressed to otherwise do a longer practice. One thing I like to do as well is to make deeper meaning of the marks I'm making. And I do that through a few different signature writing processes that I have that are included in my courses that I mentioned earlier. Here is my final result and a little sneak peek of my writing. Again, you can use the hashtags 5 Minute Mandala Challenge or Art for Your Creative Muse. They're linked in the workbook and below. I would love to see what you're creating and connect with you there. And I will see you tomorrow for day two of our 5 Minute Mandala Art Challenge.